？You sure OK？ 喂 ，OK 啊。好，弟兄姊妹平安，唔好意思啊，提前冇开麦。So peace be with you all, brothers and sisters. Sorry, you know, I didn't turn on my microphone. 所以咧，阿 Yamy 冇冇翻喎，咁啊，因为提前唱歌咧，我唔想我歌歌声扰乱咗阿 Yamy， 所以我就个麦。So I didn't turn on the mic because, you know, I didn't want to uh, uh, be uh, interrupting. So in the month of August, we talked about grace. Brother and sister, you know, do you want to have grace? So raise your hand if you do want God's grace. Do you have grace? You know, raise your hands. Do you want more of like God's grace? Raise your hand. So perhaps, brother and sister, if you said that you wanted grace, uh, you know what 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 types of grace do you wish for? So let's say if you have a lot of money, like today, you know, do you consider that as uh, a grace? Perhaps having money, you know, is uh, one of the <laughs> grace. Yes. <laughs> So if you have a, a good family, would that be, would you consider that as a grace? So the next one, you know, having a job, you know, do you think that's... <laughs> Because some people consider, you know, if I don't have to work, you know, that, that I would be very happy. So in your lifetime, you have good friends. Perhaps you would say, yeah, I, I, I have grace. 我哋呢兩年啊，最知道乜嘢叫健康好。So for the past two years, you know, we truly can appreciate, you know, what、uh, health means to us. 上個禮拜去阿劉牧師教會講到，真係有啲弟兄姊妹成兩年幾啦，三年未見過。<laughs> so last week, you know, I went to a doctor, a, a, a Reverend Hugo Lau's、uh, church to preach, and some brother and sister had not been there for almost two years, and they said, you know, hey, Reverend Young, you know, you still sounded loud. <laughs> so certainly, you know, you preach so loud because your lungs must be good. 弟兄姊妹，當然係呢啲嘅事情喺你人生擁有係一個好好嘅祝福。Certainly, you know, if you、uh, acquire or you have all those I mentioned above, that perhaps you are quite blessed in life. Perhaps, you know, if you were to go and ask the Apostle Paul and say, hey, you know, what would be the greatest grace in your life? What would he say? Perhaps Paul, you know, would tell you, you know, his encounter, his experience at the, the, the road to Damascus, you know, would be his greatest、uh, grace in his lifetime. 刚才主席读嘅经文嘅里边记载咗大马色路上保罗所嘅经历。So the scripture we just read, Acts chapter nine, verses one to nine, you know, spoke of a Paul's encounter, you know, on the road to Damascus. Paul, 准备喺大马色嘅路上里边，准备去攞咗一啲嘅文书，喺大祭司里边攞咗啲文书，准备去捉拿当时嘅基督徒。So at the time, like Paul, you know, was carrying all sorts of documents. That his plan was to go to、um, the priest and to make sure that, you know, he had those documents to persecute some of the Christians in the area. But certainly, on his way, you know, he saw a, a great light from heaven. So within that kind of flashing light, you know, he、uh, converses with the Lord. He said, "Saul, Saul, why did you forsake me?" The Lord said to、uh, 
Paul at the time, his name was Saul. Saul, why do you persecute me? 哎呀，你系边个啊？主 ？So you know, Paul kind of like, well, you know, who are you, Lord? 耶稣同佢话：我就系你所逼迫嘅耶稣。And、uh, so Jesus answered, "I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting." 你起嚟，去到城里边，我会将指示你嘅当走嘅路指示你。So Jesus said to Paul, "Now get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do." That kind of an encounter. 扭转咗保罗嘅人生。It really totally transformed like Paul's life. 当佢喺人生里边与主嘅相遇，喺佢人生里边，生命产生一个极大嘅变化。So when Paul, like you know, came to this close encounter with the Lord, his life, you know,、uh, had changed completely. 弟兄姊妹喺你我嘅人生里边，当我哋能够 encounter 同神有一个相遇嘅时候，人生里边都有一个好大嘅变化。Certainly, if we were be we we were able to have a similar encounter with the Lord, you know, to be able to speak to the Lord, then our life, you know, would definitely for sure be transformed. 呢个变化会成为你人生一个最大嘅祝福。And certainly, that transformation would represent the greatest blessing in your life. 今日我哋尝试喺保罗呢个大马色嘅经历里边，我哋睇保罗所领受有三大方面嘅祝福。Certainly, you know, we're going to study like Paul's experience at Damascus, and there are at least three, like you know, big things that we can learn from. 保罗点样讲佢嘅人生？ How did Paul describe, you know, his life? If you have a chance to read the first chapter, verse seven to eight, so if you had a chance to read like the same book, the book of Acts, chapter seven, verse fifty-two, so if you had a chance to read like the same book, the book of Acts, chapter seven, verse fifty-eight, so if you had a chance to read like the same book, the book of Acts, chapter seven, verse fifty-eight, so if you had a chance to read like the same book, the book of Acts, chapter seven, verse fifty-eight, so if you had a chance to read like the same book, the book of Acts, chapter seven, verse fifty-eight, so if you had a chance to read like the same book, the book of Acts, chapter seven, verse fifty-eight, so if you had a chance to read like the same book, the book of Acts, chapter seven, verse fifty-eight, so if you had a chance to read like the same book, the book of Acts, chapter seven, verse fifty-eight, so if you had a chance Was persecuted and he was、uh, killed. Ah, Paul, Saul, ah, ah, in 当时第一次出现佢嘅名字 Certainly, you know, Paul's name first like came to the Bible. 喺五十八节里边嘅时候，当啲人用石头打史提凡，史提凡被害嘅时候，咁第一个少年人叫做扫罗 So you know, when Stephen was like stoned like to death, you know, and there was some mentioning of a young person by the name of Saul. 当斯提凡被差唔多临死之前，嗰种嘅呼喊，叫这罪不要归于他们嘅头上嘅时候，扫罗喺当时佢嘅心情系乜嘢？喜悦。So when Stephen, you know, was almost like died, you know, from being stoned by the crowd, and、uh, it, you know, it mentioned in the Bible, Saul, you know, was like, you know,、uh, somewhat elated. Happy about you know the incident. 而系喺第九章里边，扫罗呢一种逼迫基督徒嗰种嘅情况系更加越嚟越严重。So you know Paul's way of like you know his his passion of wanting to persecute Christian at the time you know、uh, had escalated at the time. 扫罗向信主嘅人口吐威吓嘅话。So certainly, you know, he was making threatening statements, you know, to you know these group of Christians. You use what method? I I didn't know, you know, what sorts of methods you know, use. You don't send them. So so certainly, Saul was probably challenging them, you know, with all these murderous threats. You send them what? Stop it! So, do you believe? You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna harm you. I'm gonna beat you. 揼你喎，即系揼你系广东人用嘅方法。你信唔信我掟你啦 ？So perhaps you know you would be saying, you know, do you believe that? You know, I'm gonna stone you. I'm gonna throw things. 好似史提芬咁，啱唔啱 ？So I'm gonna kill you just like the way Stephen was killed. 明唔明？呢只口头一阵啲人惊啊 ！So when Saul like did all this, like people, the crowd were afraid. 甚至去到激烈嘅一个程度，主动去到揾
大祭司攞咗允许，然后喺去到各处捉拿基督徒，落在监里。So even like Saul had gone to such extremes to uh, to try to get letters like from the priests and bring it to the synagogue in Damascus. Certainly, you know that's you know Paul's life. Or perhaps you know we could say that you know he was zealous. So perhaps we would question, you know, was it him that he was zealous, or you know, there was other reasons, perhaps, behind it? So you know, just like a coin, you know, that comes with two sides. So you know, was. Saul being zealous, or you know, was he standing upon the truth? 弟兄姊妹，如果你睇当时扫罗嘅行径嘅时候，我哋谂系咪一个真正宗教要有嘅行径 ？So when you kind of like looked at like Paul's behavior, you know, would you consider, you know, whatever he was behaving, you know, was it a religious act? 如果你所信嘅宗教，你见到人受害，你会开心嘅。So you know, if you're in a religion that you know you somehow were happy when people were getting hurt, and you would question like what kind of a religion this is. You would use a very harsh and harsh word. Ah, people are scared, you will be happy. This is the religion that you are doing. So certainly, you know, you're making murderous threats to people, and when people are scared, and you're you know you're making murderous threats to people, and when people are scared, and you're Happy, you know, would that be the kind of religion? So your obligation, you know, being in that religion. So you know, what is the true religion? Wouldn't a true religion be building up your life so that you can offer help to others? If your religion calls you to burn some bombs to kill other people. 几百人死咗，跟住大家系好开心嘅。呢个系咪宗教要有嘅情况 ？So certainly, if your religion were to tell you to、uh, bind some explosive, you know, to your body and then blow yourself up and hurting many other people, you know, so what kind of a religion, you know, is it? 我哋人愿意咁样做，佢哋叫叫做热心。热心系呢啲系你自己嘅热心，或者个人因素嘅热心。定系个真正嘅信仰要求你嘅热心咧 ？So you know you would question was it just like this person was zealous and individual business or you know the religion truly has asked you you know to do such things？ 喺耶稣嘅时代，耶稣经历一件事。So at Jesus' time, Jesus you know had this experience。一个手枯干嘅人。So someone who came with a, a withered hand。啲人個人去求醫 ，so you know he went for help。當耶穌想醫佢嘅時候，啲人質疑耶穌。So when Jesus was trying to heal, bring healing to this man, and the crowd challenged Jesus。安息人啊，唔可以啊，唔可以做呢啲嘅違法嘅誒，違戒命嘅事啊。So the group challenged Jesus, "Hey, you know, it's Sabbath day. You know, this is unlawful for you to heal this man." 耶稣当时嘅回应系咩嘢 ？So how did Jesus respond to the crowd？ 耶稣问咗当时嘅人一个问题，佢话在安息日行善行恶、救命害命，哪样是可以的呢 ？So Jesus asked the crowd, you know, which is lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil, to save life or to kill？ 喺呢一度反映到耶稣嚟到嘅时候，真正嘅信仰系要。祝福周围嘅人，去拯救周围嘅人，去建造周围嘅人，唔系系伤害。So certainly, you know, Jesus make it very clear: true religion is here, you know, to bless people, to bring salvation to people, and to build people up, not ever, you know, to create hurt and harm. 我哋有一日 ，If one day， 你嘅死对头。Your, you know, biggest enemy. 遭遇一啲唔好嘅事
had uh, really a bad encounter, a bad experience. And perhaps you would feel like really good about it. So I would tell you that, oh, watch out, you know, that, you know. So, you know, you should have a chilled heart because, you know, this is you, your very own religion, not like, you know, the true religion that we're teaching you. So certainly, you know, um, the Apostle Paul's greatest grace on the road to Damascus, you know, would be uh, something that he had mentioned in the book of like Philippon. Let's read it together, verses 6 to 8 in Philippians. So so certainly Paul talked about, you know, he was quite zealous for his religion. So he thought that, you know, it was a blessed thing uh, for him to do all these things. But on the road to Damascus, you know, he saw God himself. His life was transformed. So his value system shifted. So things that he once considered, you know, as good for him and beneficial, now he considered that as a loss. Certainly now he could say that, you know, by lowing Christ, you know, he considered, you know, as the greatest, a gift to him. So the greatest blessing to him would be on the road of Damascus, he met Lord face to face and, and being blessed by the Lord. So what do you anticipate, you know, your greatest blessing in your life? Perhaps like going into work and coming so Maybe, you know, keep doing and earning your first, second, third, fourth bucket of gold. So certainly, you know, perhaps you're kind of walking towards the second half of your life. Maybe we need to kind of come to the Lord and say, like, Lord, you know, I needed to make some adjustment. How could I, like, use my life? How should I walk my life so that, you know, I could be, like, you know, more pleasing to you? So perhaps, you know, you might notice like, you know, certain values, but now you're in the second half of your life. Like, what do you need to adjust, you know? How do you say... Well, you know, have you received, you know, that precious gift? Have you received, you know, your greatest blessing? Certainly what you're pursuing at this time, would that be your precious gift, you know, in your life? So the path that you're on, you know, would that be the precious path that you wish, you know, to walk on? Paul fully realized the path that he was on was totally right. So even though, you know, he chose the path like, you know, for Christ, you know, he somehow had encountered even more challenges and difficulties. 
and he certainly faced many more, you know, unpleasant things that happened to him. And even more like life dangering, life threatening. But yet, you know, as he come almost to the end of his life, then, you know, he, as he reflected upon looking back. So he spoke to his spiritual son, Timothy. Paul said to Timothy, For I'm already being pulled out like a drink offering, and the time has come for my departure. I have fought the good fight, finished the race, and kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for this appearing. Paul spoke with confidence that already, you know, he knew he would be awarded this crown of righteousness. For, you know, he walked on the path that the Lord wanted him to walk on. Brother and sister, you know, do you wish for the crown of righteousness? So, you know, hey, ask your neighbor here, you know, do you wish to have that crown of righteousness? Yes. <laughs> so I, I'm not going to award you that crown. Perhaps, brother and sister, the question we should ask of ourselves now that the path that you're on, do you have the confidence that, you know, you will one day be able to receive that crown of righteousness from the Lord? So perhaps, you know, to make it simpler, you know, the path that you're walking on, uh, was it your own choice? Like your own salads, or the Lord wanted for you to to go. So what would be the greatest like gift, a greatest grace that you know a person could have, like in his or her lifetime? So if you were to ask Paul, so Paul would say to you that, you know, now I've truly attained the meaning, the purpose of my life, then, then you know, I feel, you know, uh, that is the greatest grace in my life. So let's continue to kind of read on, you know, the scripture. So, you know, while Paul, you know, uh, on the path road to, on the journey to Damascus, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. So a voice, you know, from heaven, like, say to him, <laughs> so, brother and sister, let let me ask you this. So, one day you were walking on the road, and all of a sudden, like you know, you heard a loud noise from heaven, a light from heaven. So, do you want to have like such an experience? <laughs> so let's say you're driving. <laughs> so there's a light, you know, heaven opens up and, and you could see Jesus. Do you wish to have that experience? <laughs> Do you wish to have that experience? Yeah. So think it thoroughly. 
Mazanga. So, <laughs> so that light could be blinding. <laughs> so apparently, as you read, like Paul was blind uh, for a few days. So perhaps you wish for, you know, having an experience, having a close encounter with the Lord, heavens open up, great light, like dove like flying around. So certainly, you know, our reaction could be very different. Some might not want like such a, an intense experience. So perhaps, you know, uh, yeah, Paul was blind for a few days. And uh, maybe for me, you know, I, I think, you know, any change, you know, I would not want it. I. So perhaps, you know, it's not quite like we expect, you know, these miracles, uh, extraordinary events to happen to us. But what is the true message, the most precious message in here. So, you know, the critical message point is here, you know, God wanted to talk to Saul. So God, you know, truly wished to be able to communicate with, with us. God, like through Psalms, like 19, that God wish, you know, to communicate with us. Like, you know, the heavens declare the glory of God and the skies proclaim his work. And day after day, like they pour forth speech. Night after night, they display knowledge to us. So look out. Is it a, a nice day today? So uh, such a beautiful today, you know, the heat and humidity, you know, seems to have dropped. So yeah, you know, we're going to Yes. We're going to come out and enjoy it. So it's very different from yesterday when we had thunderstorm and lightning. So, <laughs> so certainly, you know, Mrs. Young was saying like, let's go home, like, you know, quickly, you know, you never know, you know, there might be a tornado incoming. So the nature sends us, you know, a, a message. And certainly, you know, we uptake it very differently. Certainly in the scripture it says scripture is God breathed and useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. And so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So God's word, you know, it's speaking to us. Certainly, God also like reveal himself to us through Jesus. So if I were to ask you, you know, has Jesus talked to you? 
So never to just say that, oh, well, Jesus only talked to Saul then. Jesus talked to you through so Jesus also talked to us like through the Holy Word and through the experiences of the the prophet you know of the old times or oftentimes we cover up you know with 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 a, a blanket and and not seeing or you know we uh, embrace ourselves with business that you know somehow you know we just don't see or perhaps for the longest time we have not even like you know uh, turned to the bible so some of you might say well you know i don't turn like to the bible you know but i have all these apps so you know turn like you know on like turn to your app so how often and you know when was the last time you know you you sit down you know and quiet your mind and and listen you know to what god has to tell you so apparently God speaks to you, you know, uh, good th through good things or not so good things. God truly, you know, wants to kind of communicate with you. You know, I think the whole point is, do you wish, you know, do you long, you know, to communicate with God? So certainly, you know, communicating with God in the scripture, there are two really critical messages that you have to receive. So every single time when you come before the Lord and and be quiet down, you know, there you have to receive these two messages from him. In verse 5 it says, So at the time Saul asked, like, who are you, Lord? So certainly every single time when we turn, open the Bible, when we look to nature, that, you know, we got to ask ourselves of this question, who are you? So certainly you're, the answer shouldn't be just a simple, well, you know, you're God, you're Jesus. So the Jesus that you believed in, you know, what kind of a God is he? So in John chapter 2, so Jesus performed the miracle of turning water into wine. So maybe, you know, you're not just expecting God turn like your glass of water into wine. So maybe perhaps to look to in this message that the God that I believed in, you know, what, what, what kind of a God is he? God can truly transform, you know, our quality, our true quality. Even though somebody, you know, might have accused you, well, I don't think you're going to change. So I'm not sure whether someone had accused you, you know, see, you know, you will never change your, your character. So if you quiet yourself down, you know, before the Lord and, and God can tell you, yes, you know, he can transform you. On a kind of rough sea. 
So, you know, the sea, you know, was rolling with waves and the disciples said like, Lord, Lord, you know, why are you like, you know, sleeping? You know, we are almost dead, dying. So Jesus woke up, you know, and Jesus like said, you know, to the sea, you know, and the wind, like, calm, quiet, be still. So certainly in this in the Bible, you know, it didn't just say that, oh, okay, well now that Jesus performed the miracle, you know, everything calmed down, perhaps it's time for bed now. So the disciples became so puzzled that you know they they were terrified and they asked one another who is this even the wind and the waves obey him so when you read the bible like this then you can truly discern like god's power so brother and sister you know have you thought have you like you know evaluate you know how tough like you know how powerful your god is how powerful, okay? <laughs> so ask your neighbor, you know, hey, you know, how powerful your God is. Do you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So perhaps, yeah. So God's power. So God's power, you know, answer, you know, our prayer. You know, He knows, and much powerful, you know, than what we can think of. So brother and sister, you know, share with your neighbor. So, you know, Jesus' power, you know, we couldn't even truly fathom, like, an experience. Perhaps, you know, to let one another know that, you know, our God is so big and powerful. So, God's power, you know, it's beyond your imagination. So, so Jesus watches over my son, you know, as he go into university, you know, I have no eyes. I, I, I don't know, you know, I, I cannot follow him. That's why, Yami, you have to be at peace. You don't have to worry <laughs> because your daughter will go to the Western too, eh? <laughs> yes, yes, no worry. <laughs> oh. So if we were to read the Bible, then perhaps, you know, we could attain a deeper knowledge, you know, of God. In the Garden of Gethsemane, and Jesus, you know, faced, you know, a, a tough, like, challenge before him. So certainly, you know, Jesus prayed to the Heavenly Father, My Father, if, if this is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. So the Jesus you know and you learn from the Bible is a, a, a son of man, son of God, that he's so willing, you know, to submit, you know, to the will of the Lord. So brother and sister, now, you know, we have to communicate with our Lord. Certainly, I don't wish that you just ask God, you know, for maybe a couple of numbers so that you can purchase uh, a lottery ticket. 
係我哋帶出一個問題，主啊，你是神。In fact, you know, we should kind of bring, you know, with that question, like, who are you, Lord? In your daily living. In your daily living. In your like、uh, devotion. In your current, you know, experience. Lord, you know, we would say to him that you know, I wish you know to to know you even like deeper. 如果你繼續睇呢段經文第六節 ，so if you look to the scripture, same scripture, like verse six， 耶穌對掃羅咁話：起來進城去，你所當作的事必有人告訴你。Jesus said to Saul, now get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do。你知道耶穌有三個嘅吩咐。Certainly, you know God, you know gave Saul like three instructions. 起嚟 ，so you must get up， 进城 ，and you go into the city， 必有人告诉你 ，and you will be told， 告诉乜啊 ？What what you were being told？ 咁知啊，到时你就知啦。So then by then you know you would know。你信唔信得过会引导你啊？ Do you trust that you know I will lead and guide you? Yeah. 即系有时我哋将将自己摆入喺扫罗嗰个情况。Sometimes, perhaps, you know, we we could step into like Paul's or Saul's like situation. 当你经历声音，耶稣嘅指示，起翻身，盲咗只眼。So let's say when you experience, like you know, Jesus, you know, you could hear sound, and you got up, and but you were blind. If you were Saul, what would that be like for you? And someone were to tell you, get up. Perhaps you might react like this, like what? I can't do it. You know, I can't see. You know, so maybe you know I should go and find a doctor at this time. Or maybe you know I should go and get a specialist to check on me. So you know, then like you know, tell me what happens. You know,、uh, I I can't walk. I can't go forward. So just like check inside, you know, would you have that similar? So perhaps if we came up with all these things from our own mind, that it would be hard to follow what Jesus told us to do. Certainly, when we communicate with the Lord, you know we gotta listen, like listen for God's instructions for us. 领受咗指示，我哋跟随，我哋就行喺神嘅路。领受咗指示，仍然行翻我哋自己嘅路，我哋就冇改变啊嘛。So certainly we take God's instructions and we follow His way, but somehow we only take the instructions without following. Then you know that means we continue to walk on our very own path. 当我哋将自己代入扫罗。如果你到当时嘅回应，其实系反映紧你自己嘅人生。Certainly, you know, like Saul, you know, whatever you response when you face this encounter, you know, that would be, you know, your life, your。今日唔唔唔唔系，我哋神有冇神迹奇事，有冇异象俾我睇见 ？Certainly, it's not quite like that. You know, God, you know, didn't show us miracles or like spectacular things. 个重点唔系耶稣系咪直接同我哋讲说话 ，and and the point it's not even like whether Jesus spoke directly with us or not， 而系我哋有冇预备好自己，透过周围嘅环境，透过透过我哋每一日嘅经历，我哋认识神，认识神喺你人生嘅指示嚟嘅。Perhaps you know the key point would be for us to prepare whether. Day to day, that you know, are we discerning, you know, how God's speaking to us, communicating with us through nature, through our experiences, you know, and all this. 
罗马书第一章话：神嘅事情，人所能知道的，原显明在人心里，因为神已经给他们显明。In Romans chapter one, it said clearly, since what may be known about God is plain to them, because God has made it plain to them. 乜嘢叫真正嘅祝福？祝福真正嘅祝福就系我哋能够与主真正嘅对话。So what is the true grace would be that you know we could have a genuine and authentic communication with God Himself. 弟兄姊妹，你有冇好好与主对话过 ？So brother and sister, you know, have you truly, you know, had a good conversation, you know, with God yourself? 唔系话主有冇向你对话，而系我哋有冇好好与主对话过。So it's never about whether God had spoken to us, but in fact, that it's on us, you know, whether we had a truly cherished, you know, and had a good communication. You go on or not? If I ask Paul, 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 I say, "Do you know? Do you know? Has God ever told you? Do you know?" So if you were to ask Paul, Paul would have like told you, "Hey, you know, you know, deep in your heart, you know whether you had done so or not." 人生最大嘅祝福，神喺你人生里边调教你人生嘅意义。人生最大嘅祝福就系神嚟到你嘅人生里边，你能够同神真真正正嘅对话。So the greatest gate, grace, you know, would be you can come before the Lord and have a true and honest and open communication with Him. 最后 ，and at last， 圣经第七节至到第九节咁话，同行的人站在那里，说不出话来。听见声音却不看不见人，到罗从地上起来，睁开眼睛，竟不看能看见什么。有人拉他的手，令他进了大马色。三日不能看见，也不吃，也不喝。喺当中嘅时候，当扫罗起身睇唔到嘢。So from verses seven to nine, and Paul got up, and he was blind, couldn't see anything. 扫罗当时嘅经历只有扫罗。最清楚。So whatever he experienced, you know, only Paul himself knew it all. 周围嘅人佢只系睇到，佢好似有啲嘢发生，但系发生咗乜嘢，讲咩唔清楚。So even though there were people like traveling with him or standing around, but nobody truly knew, you know, what actually had happened. 但系呢一个经历，边个最清楚 ？Who was the most clear, you know, with this encounter? 啊？ So Paul was the most clear, you know, and others did not. So here in the Bible, you know, certain point was emphasized that you know Paul was the most clear, you know, and others did not. So here in the Bible, certain point was emphasized that you know Paul was the most clear, you know, and others did not. So here in the Bible, certain point was emphasized that you know Paul was the most clear, you know, and others did not. So here in the Bible, certain point was emphasized that you know Paul was the most clear, you know, and others did not. So here in the Bible, certain point So certainly, you know, when you had certain encounters, only you know it almost kind of perfectly. Other people wouldn't know、uh, what had happened. If God in your life, there are things that the people around you think you should do, 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 do. You ask yourself the most clearly. So perhaps God had led you, you know, to a certain place in life. That other people may not know, they might even criticize, but only you know about God's guidance for you. This is God's guidance for you. And certainly, you know, this is what God, you know, had imparted in you. This is truly your very own experience with Him. When Saul lost his sight, he couldn't see. So when Paul kind of like woke up, you know, he was blind. 喺第九节里边停咗一个情况，就系佢三日不能看见，也不吃，也不喝。In verse nine, it says, for three days Paul was blind and did not eat or drink anything。弟兄姊妹，可能当你好似扫罗有咁样经历嘅时候，你都三日唔吃唔喝。So perhaps you might experience similar things, not eating, not drinking for three days、uh, after you had an encounter with God。你估会唔会啊？ Do you think that you know that might happen? I think you will not just go to buy a fish and eat it. Certainly, I wouldn't think that you know you would just go off and shop and you know eat it. Certainly, I wouldn't think that you know you would just go off and shop and you know eat it. Certainly, I wouldn't think that you know you would just go off and shop and you know eat it. Certainly, I wouldn't think that you know you would just go off and shop and you know eat it. Certainly, I wouldn't think that you know you would just go off and shop and you know eat it. Certainly, I wouldn't think that you know you would just go off and shop and you know eat it. Certainly, I wouldn't think that you know you would just go off and shop and you know eat it. Certainly, I wouldn't think that you know you would just go off and shop and you know
or perhaps you you don't eat or drink because you know you have no mood. You know, there's an expression that, you know, even like dragon meat, you know, if you have no mood, you wouldn't even want it. Thank you, brothers and sisters. So, Saul, so he didn't eat because you know, it wasn't because he was, uh, he had no mood. So what did he do, you know, in these three days? So in scripture 10 and 11, you know, within that three days, uh, it says in Damascus, there was a disciple named Ananias. The Lord called to him in a vision. And Ananias, he answered, you know, so the Lord told Ananias, go to the house of Judas on strict street and ask for a man from uh, Tarsus named Saul, for he is praying. So Paul was praying. So three days he didn't eat, didn't drink. So Paul was Jewish. So certainly, you know, he knew for such a spectacular things had happened to him. So he was fasting and he was praying. So he was fasting and pray and pray for God's guidance. Mm -hmm. yep. So so he's saying to the Lord, you know, he waited on to the Lord. Thank you. Brothers and sisters. So if it were for you, for you and for me, perhaps after something like this, perhaps, you know, we would be quite worried. But certainly Saul, you know, gave us a message. So rather for us, you know, to worry and be anxious. And rather, you know, we should come before the Lord and to fast, you know, and to pray and to be renewed. So, brother and sister, perhaps in your life, you know, in, in mind that, you know, we would encounter a lot of, like, challenges. Perhaps each and every challenge, you know, would be an opportunity for us to experience Him. How are you going to deal with this? Perhaps you may be using your own way or you allow God, you know, to intervene, you know, into your life and let him kind of take you, like, you know, to help you to, to get to his will. People in the crowd, like, you know, didn't know what actually happened. And the Bible didn't even say uh, whether, you know, they had been, like, you know, impacted by, you know, this spectacular experience that they witnessed. But here, you know, but certainly, you know, this is kind of a, a life-transforming experience for Paul that he could seize hold of. Such that, you know, he could overcome each and every uh, challenge and difficulty. So at a time, you know, when he, you know, had to approach, you know, Agrippa. The king. Paul said, 
So he said, you know, I was not disobedient to the to the vision from heaven. So Paul spoke to King Agrippa. First in Damascus and then to uh, Jerusalem. Brothers and sisters. So certainly God, you know, has vision, you know, for each one of us in your life and my life. And certainly this vision, you know, it's only, you know, for you to see, to discern. So has it transformed, you know, the value, you know, of your life? Certainly, you know, the, the greatest purpose is for you to have a deeper conversation with the Lord. So this experience becomes, you know, such a motivation force for you to kind of like transform your life. The best, the greatest gift and grace. So Paul himself, you know, had attained it in, on the road to Damascus. The greatest grace that, you know, you and I, you know, we can have it too. So when can you can truly discern the kind of like meaning that you dis, you learn from from God, His will for you, and being able to communicate with Him, and also truly experience Him. So this is the greatest grace that you can have. Brother and sister, you know, do you wish for the greatest grace? Do you want that grace? So God has already, you know, uh, given that grace to you. So each and every day come before the Lord to have a great kind of so let Lord, you know, release you and be free. So let God, like, you know, to lead and guide you through. And to kind of bring God's wishing. Whether it's in your workplace. Or maybe in the new normal. Or perhaps, you know, in a new place of learning. May you continue to experience God Himself. Glorious freedom.